All right, so hopefully we are streaming now or very, very soon. Uh, let me let me first log out of my Wi-Fi and I'm going to check and make sure that I am streaming and that you can hear me because hearing me is more important than seeing me. So let me go over here. We're going to go to your channel. We're going to click on this button here. Whoops. I apologize if you can hear that. Uh, if you can hear me and see me, let me know. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can hear me and see me, so that's good. All right, so we're going to get a couple more minutes, and then we're going to talk about some pretty cool stuff, I believe. Um, we're going to talk about the, the website we created Thursday. Feels like, um, feels like a while ago where we created that website so uh, we'll just give it a couple minutes if you are if you can hear me and see me let me know if I'm too loud let me know if I'm too soft let me know um, if I'm quiet let me know um, if you have questions about whatever it is that I'm talking about let me know we'll get started in about 35 seconds or so hmm let's see and I do apologize in, in advance. It is 5.30 here um, on Sunday. And for whatever reason, this is the time our kids turn into gremlins. So if you hear yelling and screaming in the background, it is our kids um, getting mentally prepared for the week by letting out all of their frustration and exhaustion. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get started. It is now 5.31. And let's talk about what we're going to do today. Today we are going to find affiliate programs. Last week, Thursday, we created a website step by step. Um, we actually created this website to give away. The website is called learnretailbusiness.com. We are going to create a blog website about the retail niche. Now last week I talked about something called a planogram. Now this is all done off the top of my head. Uh, one of the commenters, one of the, the chatters, actually gave me the the niche idea we went out and found different keywords to use for our website i'm going to create 30 posts and then i'm going to give this to to the person that won it uh, the person won it last week what i probably could have done hindsight being 2020 is i could have gone through this entire process and then once i was done i could have given the website away to a winner but you know what's the fun in that so um, what we did last week, just to recap real quick, I'm going to go over to Ahrefs. It is the tool that we use to find keywords. You don't have to use this tool. This tool is a paid tool. There are other free ones out there, but I like Ahrefs because I feel like it saves me time and frustration. So I'm just going to log in into this screen and then come back over and show you what we did. So um, here we are in Ahrefs. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Keyword Explorer. We're going to type in... Um, so our, our niche, our top level domain niche is in retail. So um, when you type in retail business, that's going to be really competitive. So retail business, as you can see hard, that's not too bad, but if we go over to matching terms, um, there's going to be a lot of orange and red, so it can be challenging to create content. Again, that's not terrible considering what's out there. Well, I'm sure there's other things, but what we did was, is we actually talked about something called the glossary method. Now I stole this method from uh, Marcus Campbell. He's the affiliate marketing dude. Definitely check out his channel if you want to learn more about blogging. What I did off the top of my head was come up with planograms. Now planograms are those plans used um, in order to put, uh, put products on shelves. So if you ever go to Walmart or Target or Best Buy or you know whatever grocery store you go to, all of that is mapped out and planned ahead of time and the marketing department, analytics, whomever, they create this planogram and they give it to the employees and it's the employee's jobs to set up the planogram the right way. And so when it comes to a planogram, you have to, um, you have to move the little metal um, shelving and all of that stuff so that it meets the planogram because it's designed to optimize the sale. And so what I did is I typed in planogram in the search. I just wanna make sure I spell this correctly, plan, Plan O gram. I think it's really easy. I missed. I, I misspelled. Uh, I misspelled piano yesterday. Planogram um, for the video that's coming out tomorrow. I misspelled piano. So I, I always like to double check my work. So if we go back to overview, 
retail business is hard. It shouldn't be, it's not too bad, but what we can do is we can look up something like planogram. And when we see planogram, it says it's medium, but it's medium for the word planogram. But what we could do is we could look at terms that have the word planogram in them. And if you know anything, it's important that you have a planogram that you execute. And if you look at this, you see a, a sea of green with the exception of the word planogram and what is a planogram, everything else is, you know, not terribly difficult. And so we could probably get traffic relatively easy. And so that's the mindset that we're getting into when it comes to creating this website. The next thing that we need to do is we need to figure out affiliate programs. Now, what you should probably do before you, before you get up and running is you probably should consider how you're going to make money with the site. The most easy and straightforward way is to simply find affiliate offers and place them on there. A more effective long-term strategy would probably be to sell your own digital product. You could sell, you could create and sell a digital course on how to get started uh, setting up a business, a retail business. Um, you could, you could create an ebook, um, a checklist, a guide or something that you give away or sell and make pretty good money that way. So this is our website, learnretailbusiness.com. Eventually it will have a number of blog posts on it about the retail space. So now that we have all of that out of the way, that was kind of like the precursor, the preamble to what we're going to do today, which is find affiliate programs. In order to find affiliate programs, you kind of have to know some things about the retail space. Now let's think, what are some things that you would need if you're opening up a retail business? You probably need a website, so maybe web, web hosting. That's that's an easy one. That's no brainer one. Other things that you may need is like a point of sale machine. So the little machine that they use to process sales, that's called a POS or a point of sale machine. So you could find different programs for that. You could also be a, an affiliate for like Square. Square is those little things that they put um, that you can attach to. Uh, you can you can attach to your smartphone or your iPad and they run credit cards. So you could potentially be an affiliate for Square if they have an affiliate program. So if you start thinking about it like this, there's a lot of opportunities. Also QuickBooks or, or Quickim, they have an affiliate program over on Commission Junction. So when you start thinking about some of the things that are required for a retail business, you could potentially make a lot of money. So let's go ahead and find some affiliate programs that would be uh, congruent with the retail business. So if we go over here, we're gonna click on new tab. And let's start with um, um, let's start with very basic retail affiliate program. Another thing that I have on here uh, actually is if you create, you can actually find courses over on Udemy. Let me find it. There we go. So the first and most easiest thing to do is you could become an affiliate for Udemy and recommend courses. And another secret tip that I think I talked about very recently, either in the past or or coming up, is you could actually break down some of these Udemy courses and figure out and create content based off the Udemy courses. So retail for business analysts, um, let's see if we could find one. What we're looking for is like a retail management course. You could be an affiliate for that. Uh, retail merchandising planning, you could potentially be an affiliate for that. Uh, you can also use this to help you create content or find additional keywords if you're going to blog because this person has spent a bunch of time going through and figuring out exactly what those people want to need, or what those people want and need. And so we could go there. All right. So uh, let's get back over to what I was initially talking about is re uh, retail affiliate program. I know I have it here somewhere. Of course, let me just uh, shamelessly self-promote here real quick. I do have this channel that talks only about affiliate programs. I talk about the affiliate program, the commission structure, and five ways that you can make money. Go to affiliate program reviews. I have currently 91 subscribers. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about individual affiliate programs. I only talk about affiliate programs on this channel. If you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, I do have a few different levels. I have a free affiliate marketing course. It's a mini course, which is about three hours long. Um, in addition, I have a uh, step-by-step training on how to build a website. And then I have some more uh, like premium level, upgraded level stuff as well. Definitely check that out. It's at members.alstongodbolt.com. I'm just going to put that in the description. If you guys have questions, definitely throw them out there. Um, if you want to get caught up to speed, let me know. So basically what I thought I had up, but I'll just go get it again is I'm going to type in retail affiliate program. Now we already know that we can use something like, um, we can try and find affiliate programs for point of sale machines, um, for a, a Udemy course, if we want to just get it started. 
Um, we can also find maybe different wholesalers or vendors or even the little square thing that I mentioned before. So I'm just going to type in retail affiliate program and we're going to see what pops up because again, we want to let the internet do the work for us. If we scroll down here, uh, top 10 retail affiliate programs that cash in on consumer. Uh, so this isn't necessarily what we want. What may be a better opportunity is simply to just do what I mentioned before. Let's, let's look up point of sale machines. Uh, so we're going to go to um, point of sale machines. Now we already know that we could be an affiliate for web hosting. Now, because we're targeting a business, we probably want to use more premium or upgraded web hosting. We can use something like Keensta, maybe SiteGround. Um, they're going to want web hosting so that they can connect to the internet and, and maybe do things that way. So point of sale, as you can see, it's those systems, those little kiosks that people go to in order to uh, do transactions. You can also look at being an affiliate for maybe Stripe or, or PayPal. Those are options as well. Uh, let's see here. Point of sale machines. It looks like Amazon even sells them. What best point of sale machines for 2021. So what we can do here is we can click on this and then we can just kind of go through and see if they have affiliate programs. Another thing that we can do is we can type in uh, point of sale uh, machine and then just type in affiliate program. Affiliate program. All right. So when we do that, eHopper POS affiliate program. Let's open that up. Let's see what they have. Uh, affiliates and resellers will open that one up as well. Touch Bistro's partner program. And then as I mentioned, Square affiliate program. These are all different ways that we could potentially make money. Do you guys, are you guys seeing this? Does this make sense? Let me know if this makes sense. Um, because the, the opportunity is right there. We've already talked about a few different ways. If we scroll down um, $5 per new signup plus a $15 bonus when an activation starts taking payments within 45 days that might be a little less than we want might not quite be worth the effort but let's take a look and see what these other ones are talking about eHopper uh, let's see hundred dollar receive a hundred dollars for each referral who signs up for the freedom package so that could be an opportunity we'd make a hundred dollars per sale we take a look uh, let's go to Click on their main page while that's working. Let's see what uh, Store Tender Online has for us. If we look, let's see if we can quickly scan. All right, I don't see, I don't see anything that jumps out at me as far as the affiliate program. But hopefully, this is making sense to you guys. This is uh, good stuff. So look at this. Join Touch Bistro's partner program. Now this may only be for. Hopefully, it's not just for. Uh, restaurants, but your customers trust your recommendations. When you join our affiliate partner program, you can earn cash for introducing restaurants to Touch Bistro. So unfortunately, it looks like it is for restaurants, but that might not be a big deal, uh, depending on how we position it, and earn even more when they become customers. So $100 per demo. Hey, look at this. Guys, I want you to take a look at this. You get $100 per demo. You don't even have to get them to buy anything. This is uh, cost per action or cost per acquisition. How cool is that if you can make $100 just to get the customer essentially to enter in some contact information and get shown a demo? Uh, this is pretty powerful. Uh, $100 and they don't even have to buy anything. You could make $100 and they don't have to buy anything. And then you would make $1,000 per sale. But again, this is only for restaurants. So that could be kind of, kind of dicey. Or that could be something that we plan around. That could be a vertical that we create. Hey, Rocky, how's it going? Um, this could be, that could be a, a vertical that we create later on. Okay. So touch bistro could be an opportunity and believe it or not, restaurants are considered retail businesses. So we've got, we've got web hosting and let me just show you Keensta affiliate program. Hey, welcome back me. I hope you're, I hope you're taking notes because it, we're, we're building your business right in front of you. Um, uh, Keensta affiliate program affiliates program and i think i have i might have a blog post on this i don't i don't know but with keensta this is going to be more premium upgraded um web hosting and so you can earn up to 500 dollars. so right away you could potentially earn 600 dollars at least from one customer 500 dollars when they sign up for web hosting which basically everyone needs you're going to need it in order to have your pos machine uh, for them to have their POS machine and then $100 if they sign up with with the Bistro. The other thing that we're looking for is accounting software. So what we can do is we can type in accounting software 
affiliate program. Uh, we also know that we could use QuickBooks. Uh, let's see, best accounting affiliate programs, 10, uh, 10, top 10 accounting affiliate programs to add. Let's see what this one is, because I looked at the one more cup of coffee before. Um, the hosting company, I have to wait 60 in order to transfer my domain. My keyboard is broken. <laughs> That's all right. That's funny. Um, I don't like this website. I don't, I have to remember that I don't like it. Let's see, if we scroll down here, uh, top 10 accounting affiliate programs, we'll open that one up. We can also jump over to Commission Junction. I have it open here and we can type in accounting or bookkeeping. But it's important to think about everything that goes in and as you can see we've got QuickBooks here. It's important to think about everything that goes into running a business. The people that are looking up retail business for the most part if they're looking if they want to learn how to start uh, 60 days in order to transfer a domain. Did you just get your domain? Yeah I mean that's that's no big deal. Um, um, you have to think about the people that are looking up information about planograms or retail management in general they they might be looking at how to start a retail business and i do want to look that up real quick i want to see how competitive that is how to start a retail retail business but i think that if we look up a point of sale i think point of sale would be interesting how to start a retail business online why would someone want a re uh, let's spell words right here all right so there we go We've got, so if we looked up how to start a retail business, we look at the matching terms here. Would this work? Now, I think that you might have better success how to start a retail website business. Now, I think you might have better success if you try different categories. For example, instead of just looking up how to start a retail business, they might be looking up how to start a boutique or how to start um, a bakery or how to start a clothing business. If you just attack retail business, very rarely are people thinking, hey, I just wanna open a retail business. They're thinking, I wanna open up a boutique or you know, an eyelash shop or something like that. I think that's gonna give us better opportunity. That's, I think there's gonna be more keywords and I also think it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So if we look at what is a common, let's say, let's how, let's, how to start a beauty beauty business <laughs> that's that'll be interesting if something pops up there but but hopefully this is making sense uh, how to start a beauty business a keyword difficulty only eight 190 searches so we might probably want to look at something else too but if we're looking if we're thinking about it a I think we can find some some pretty good uh, let's see if we can find point of sale here point of sale Point of sale. There we go. So we type in point of sale. It looks like we only have QuickBooks. Let me press search again. QuickBooks. I'm going to type in POS. See if that gives us something different. Another thing that we could be an affiliate for potentially is something like um, mobile phone service, cell phone service, things like that. All right. So we've got nothing there. Uh, let's see if we could like those wire shelving shelving uh, let's see global equipment company I wonder what they do or racking.com I'm gonna open that up in a new link a new tab just in case or a racking R. oh come on R A C K racking.com come on racking my brain racking.com all right so the home of racking and shelving Let's slide this over and we can see if they have something that we need. So they may, they may have something that you would need for um, commercial, commercial shelving, shelving and racking. If we click on this, heavy duty shelving, light shelving, chrome, kitchen, mobile, van, wall mounted. Hmm. Uh, would, guys, is this, is this making sense? Um, this could potentially look at this. This wall-mounted shelving unit could be something that someone puts up in a in a boutique. This could be something that someone would use, and we could become an affiliate for them. Uh, if we take a look at the commission here, 
they would pay they pay let's see if we go to program terms they pay four percent commission they say the average sale is three hundred dollars so if ten percent is thirty we'd be looking at probably about eight dollars per sale maybe five somewhere between five and eight dollars per sale let me know if that is correct shelving ink maybe they have something that we're looking for uh, let's go to shelving.com but hopefully this is making sense this is all like like um like real life stuff and it's not it's not in affiliate marketing it's not in make money online it's not in health wealth relationships or technology this is something that you could essentially start today and make money make make real money and it's like it's like right there you just need some sort of idea some sort of um, not even an idea like a hypothesis like a thought that that maybe this could work you could use this for shelving um i wonder if i'm, I'm gonna try and put like commercial shelving but this is all all different shelving units that you could use depending on your business uh, let's see if we go to metal shelving metal carts these are all different things that you could use labels um, aluminum wall shelves steel clip shelving i mean depending on on what their their end goal is this is cool this is awesome uh, storage bins home and office and not really what we're interested in tools hand tools industrial catalog i wonder uh, let's go back over to cj.com and to sign up for cj it's 100 for free it's easy doesn't take a lot you just sign up and then you have to go apply to individual affiliate programs i probably spelled that wrong but let's give it a whirl um, it doesn't look like there's anything for commercial nor do you probably want to get antivirus too if you're starting a business and you care about your data and information but i mean this is this is it i mean you just spend a little bit of time doing research we found that you could be an affiliate for shelving of all things you can you can promote and sell shelving which you would need if you're opening up a retail business you can open you can promote quickbooks you can promote uh, web hosting you can promote point of sale machines we saw that you can make a thousand dollars with a, a point of sale machine uh, do you guys have questions about this is this making sense if it's not making sense let me know because i'll i'll try and um answer it again but one thing that we could do is we could go back over to our keywords our um our our glossary method and we could simply just go through and find things barcode is there a barcode machine is there special um guns good i'm glad this is making sense back order big but big data uh, there's probably an affiliate program to collect data and analytics if we go back over to commission junction we can type in analytics type in analytics and there has to be as you can see adp is a, a pretty well-known um entity for like uh, payroll and hr stuff so you could be an affiliate for adp and you could promote that and make money that way I mean, if you start thinking about it, if you go through and do this glossary method for affiliate programs, stuff is just going to fall out of out of the sky. Um, car, card on file, carrying cost, cash wrap, chargeback. Um, I also talked about Stripe. Now, I don't know if Stripe has an affiliate program. We're going to type. Let's just search that one. We'll type in Stripe affiliate program. And you need Stripe in order to collect payments you can use stripe you can use paypal pioneer is another one that i think you can use reward i don't um yeah stripe has an affiliate program too so you could be an affiliate for stripe and you could recommend recommend that everyone use stripe and in fact what i'd recommend that you guys do is is set up set up a free um like a free course where you kind of just walk them through everything that they need hey you're gonna need like create like a checklist you could do create a free checklist give them away first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to maybe set up your bookkeeping software then have a link over to quickbooks then the next thing you're gonna need is maybe payment processing software and you're gonna need a point of sale machine and add affiliate links into all this entire um, pdf 
and then you give it to them for free. They click on those links and they buy the product. You start making money, but there's just a number of ways to do it. And if we go back over here across merchandising, now merchandising could be an interesting one. Uh, let's see if we can find it. I thought about this earlier, but I think the problem will be is trying to find like wholesale merchandising affiliate programs. I think the ones that are gonna pop up are gonna be your local stores and they may not have affiliate programs if you're gonna buy 500 t-shirts. And let's see, merchandising affiliate programs. I doubt that we're gonna find anything here, but let's take a look. Make money with Merchanoid. Merchoid, Merchanoid. Uh, let's see, make money advertise our amazing geeky products nope that's not what we want uh, let's see if we can scroll through and find other things cloud point of sale machines contactless payments consumer packaged goods um, you could be an affiliate for labels and as we saw earlier you could be an affiliate for barcodes consignment merchandise let's try that that's going to be a key word and that's going to be probably a word that we could look for over on ahrefs to see if if that's not going to be so competitive. So I'm going to paste that in right here. Consignment merchandise. And I'll drag that back over in a second. All right. So it only looks like 110 searches. And it looks like the one primarily searches like a quiz question or a test question. All right. So if we keep scrolling down cost of goods sold, this is going to be accounting. Again, you could CRM is a good one. All right. Sorry that to just stop in my tracks, but um, CRMs, which stands for Customer Relationship Management Software, the the S is something I added in. But uh, CRM, CRM, um, Salesforce is a CRM, and I think Sales Salesforce is has an affiliate program. So if we go over to Commission Junction and we just paste in CRM, I don't know if Salesforce is in here, but okay, Casino, no, keep. Business to business is going to be an interesting one. It's something that we should put a pin in when it comes to categories. We could find business. I wonder if they have business. There we go. Business to business. And in fact, we could highlight all of these. Let me delete this right here. We could highlight business to business because our business is going to need office furniture. Also VoIP. Yep. Like Magic Jack. But I don't know. If people are getting high-speed internet, I don't know if they're going to, or, yeah, maybe. VoIP could be a good one. Um, yep, Ring Central. Uh, let's see, Office, Productivity Tools. We could search, and we could potentially be an affiliate for all of this stuff. Um, let's see if we scroll down, find a good one. Active Track, ADP, as I mentioned. Brother, they're for printers. So if they have a, a location, they may need a... A business printer. You could also be an affiliate for Staples and Office Max if you live in the United States. Uh, Office Depot. Um, you can promote different office furniture that way. Let's see if we scroll down here and find something else. Efax we could be an affiliate for. FedEx we could be an affiliate for. If they're shipping stuff out, that's going to be a great opportunity. Google Space as well. But you can see, guys, this is like, this is real. This is something that, that people are doing and making money if we come over let me just drag this back over i just searched um consignment and i removed everything else there's 977,000 searches per month 166,000 keywords now i don't know that someone that's looking to start a retail business knows what consignment is yet and so that might be something that that might not be the best word to go after that might be something someone would go after once they have something established um office depot as i mentioned if we scroll down quickbooks again but there's just lots of opportunities out here to potentially make money aarp i don't know why i singled that one out i get i get mail from aarp a lot i get a lot of mail from them i don't know how old they think i am but they think i'm old enough to join aarp if we scroll down uh, drop shipping, durable goods, dry storage, e-tailing, EMV. Uh, this is going to be, um, again, more of like a payment processor type thing. Fast fashion, flash sales, forecast, first in, first out. This is going to be accounting. Um, but I think I think we've got a pretty good list of 
of different ways to make money. I just want to scroll through inventory management, inventory management software. Um, that first in, first out, FIFO, LIFO, last in, first out. Um, those are, are different terms that are going to help you with inventory management. So if you can do some educating, another key term is just in time. So if we looked at in just, just in time, where is my Ahrefs here? I'm going to look that up real quick. I lost my Ahrefs, guys, so it'll be a second. But we can look that up just in time inventory, JIT, just in time, yeah, just in time inventory. That is going to be targeted towards people that are either studying marketing or people that are trying to learn what just-in-time inventory is so that they can better optimize their business. My concern with something like uh, just-in-time is that's going to be a lot of people studying marketing. It's going to be a lot of people trying to optimize a business they already have. And so that might not be the best way. But 72,000 searches, hard, excuse me, 18,000 keywords, and there's a good mix of, of competition. But these are questions... When a firm adapts a just-in-time operating environment, yeah, they're looking for answers to a test, and so and so we don't want to help them answer their their test questions. Layaway, leverage buyout, LIFO, last and first out, lost leader. Um, but I mean, these could be good terms to a create content, mobile payments. So these are people that are maybe looking for something like Square. We could create content and then refer them to Square. Monthly sales index, multi-channel retailing, mystery shopping, niche retailing. That would be interesting. I wonder how that does over on Ahrefs. I'm going to paste that in right here. Now I'm really interested in this. So uh, control V. So do you guys have any questions? I know I'm kind of like going on and on, but there's a lot of opportunity. I think there's a lot of opportunity to make some very good money. I think we, we could potentially, and this isn't hyperbole, we could make... On a good day, we could probably make $1,600 per day. That's assuming that someone, at least, that's assuming that someone buys the, the, the point of sale machine that we talked about. Someone buys the web hosting, so that would be $1,500 per there, uh, $1,500 there, and then someone buys like ADP or something along those lines. But... Or maybe they buy a course that we recommend over on Udemy. Maybe we come up with it with our own course. But this is this is pretty cool. Uh, pretty easy pop-up stores. I think that could be a good opportunity. How to how to start a pop-up store. How to launch a pop-up store. And when people need to launch a pop-up store, they need something like Square. They need a way to, to collect payments fast. They may not need uh, they may not need internet, but they need to collect. Let's see, pop-up store, 13,000 searches. Uh, this looks like people are looking for pop-up stores. So we would have to do a little bit of filtering there. We could ask questions like, what is a pop-up store? Uh, let's see, any questions? My girlfriend sells first data machines and Clover. Uh, what's a first data machine? That's interesting. But th there's opportunity, opportunity everywhere. I'm sure either they have or their competitors have an affiliate program. Another thing we could do is we could go over to, there's a website, and I forgot the name of it. Uh, people talk about the website all the time. And it is a website that has different software that people give ratings to. And a number of those websites have affiliate programs. And I completely spaced on the name it's a it's a website that you can go to test different things. I wish I wish I could remember it. I, I can see it right now. I just can't I can't um, I can't picture it. I can't I can't tell you what the name is. But we could go there because they're going to have stuff for um, software that we could promote and potentially make reoccurring income. I have to think about that name. Point of sale machine system. That's what we talked about. Private label purchase order call it quantity on hand um, they are the largest merchant processing companies uh, okay uh, let's see let's go over to this one if you guys know what I'm talking about I know I gave you a very vague uh, 
vague information. It's a website that you can go to to test and rate software. They basically work with small and medium sized software companies. People talk about it all the time on TikTok and YouTube about ways to make money online. In fact, um, Spencer Meacham or Meekum created a video a while ago where you could go to this website, find different affiliate programs and run paid ads directly to those programs. If anyone there knows what I'm talking about, uh, let me know because it's it's right in the front of my mind. It's like, I think it's like blue or something like that. Um, I've seen people talk about it on on TikTok and, and obviously on YouTube because I basically just told you the entire the entire synopsis of the video, but I wish I could remember types of planogram is interesting. I want to see something here. Now again, I'm going to type in types of planogram. Types of planogram. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Did I spell planogram wrong? The reason why I searched this is because it came up and people also asked. I have I have planograms over here and it says, uh, let's just do planogram here. Does anybody know what I am talking about? I'm as soon as I end this call, I'm gonna remember, and it's gonna drive me mad. So planogram, like we talked about last week, when we click on this, they're gonna see there's some some opportunity. And what, we, what we're looking for ultimately is we're looking for opportunity without having to write 30,000 words. Because if we wanted to, we could write 30,000 words on every one of these and see where the chips fall. Ideally, I want to write something that's between 1,000 and 2,000 words and start potentially ranking. How to make a planogram that is, let's see, what is planogram and merchandising? That's interesting. Uh, hopefully that's not a... Um, a question people are asking for for uh, their class planogram definition how to read a planogram that could be a good one and remember what we did last week I think we did it last week is we go through and we look up some of these words and then we look up the the top websites for these words and what we're doing is we're looking for different we're, we're looking for different keywords to harvest. So uh, how to read a planogram. I, th I, want, I think I did this one. I'm going to copy, open this link in a new tab. We're going to open this up. And we can kind of look through here and then see if they've got affiliate programs, if they're recommending something. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click on Next Gen. I'll go back over here and let's go up to the top here we're going to do a site explorer let's see and we are going to paste that in like that any questions for me right now but as we can see here next gen planogram software i wonder do they have an affiliate program this is actually a a website that does planograms and what we're looking for if we look down at the bottom here let's see let's see let's see I don't know that they have an affiliate program, but we can always search it. So I'm just going to copy this like this. Oh, man. Copy that. Jump over here. And you know what you could do is let's say your website's big enough. Let's say you're getting 100,000 page views per month. You could reach out to this company and say, hey, look, I have this website all about retail management. And I'm getting about 100,000 page views per month. Would you like to form a partnership where I send customers your way and I get paid a commission? And if they are making very good money off of selling their, their planograms, I'm sure they would consider it. Just because a company doesn't have it listed doesn't mean that they're not going to do it. Affiliate program and webmasters earn money with next gen. I wonder if this is it. Uh, share sale commission junction we have to first see what these guys are because this is a different website sales ending soon this is not what we want at all absolutely not what we want but I mean it's it just seems like it's kind of like falling in line for us and unfortunately it looks like 
our website is kind of, uh, or their, their website is kind of mixed in with some, some like health supplements or something like that. Allows you rewards enabling next gen network sales. What is this that they offer? I didn't mean to do that, but here we are. All right. So let's see ethernet, ethernet wand. So this could be interesting, but let's go back and let's see what next gen ranks for. So not terrible. They are getting some organic traffic. We can take a look at their keywords and potentially steal them from them and find how to read a planogram cross merchandising all one word what we'd want to do here is we want to sort the keyword difficulty to five or less hit apply and then we can we can steal harvest borrow we can outrank them if we write better content how to read a planogram cross merchandiser read planograms brand block convenience store planogram so these if we open up any of these, this gives us an idea of what we need to write for. Now, Rocky messaged me yesterday or today, and he said that he'd like to see how I would go about writing a blog post. Is that something that you guys would be interested in? If you are, the next live stream would be me writing. Okay, this isn't bad. Um, the next live stream would be me writing or walking you through how to write a planogram, um, a planogram blog post. Now, mind you, I don't know a ton about planograms themselves. I just know how I go about writing blog posts. And I think that, I think that how I do it can be applied to anything. Now, obviously you'd probably want to do some research ahead of time and then you can go from there. But if we look at this, how to read a planogram, 300 searches, the keyword difficulty zero position one they only have they they only have less than a thousand words do you guys see this so if we write a healthy article maybe two thousand words about a planogram if we look at this again okay 472 words we write a 1500 word blog post about reading a planogram this could put us in a pretty good position what I, we'd probably want to do too is also look at some of the other people that are ranking uh, if i just click on this real quick um let's see if we just scroll down we take a look and see what how how many uh <coughs> excuse me if we look at and see what other people are doing in this space you can see 23 million um authority ranking ar or a, yeah ar ranking these are all you know not insurmountable if we wanted to we can take a look at this one as well and see what they're doing because the key is is to rank for how to read a planogram get the most out of it now my only concern with with planograms is that these people may already be in the industry and then look at that this is only this isn't even a thousand words we could potentially outrank people for this word what we'd probably want to do is I think we might want to shift our focus to point of sale machines because uh, I think that people that are just getting started with a retail business, they're a going to be wanting to know how to like collect payments. And that could be an interesting, if we go back over to our keywords explorer here, we could, we could type in um, like how to collect payments. Hit enter. Keyword difficulty is 12. Click on matching terms. And this should give us a variety, like how to collect payments at a retail store. You can see 160 volume, 241 keywords, how to collect credit card payments. Interesting. I would think there'd be more people searching different ways. How to collect payments using PayPal. How to collect, how to collect. Let's delete this. How to collect, leave it very general, and then maybe we would do something like retail or store. Click on any word, 
click apply and let's see hmm interesting so we probably want to do a little bit more research figure out exactly what people are asking when they want to get into the retail business and this could require a little bit more research but that's okay because we're building a business and we're not trying to make a million dollars next week we're trying to do that over time so that it's consistent and sustainable what we could do is oh store that means like uh, that's part of the problem um, store like kept but uh, let's see but we'll do a little bit more research and guys let me know if that's something that you're interested in if you want to know how I would go about writing a blog post for a keyword that I find I think in the next few days I'm gonna have a bunch of keywords and I don't want to reveal them here just because people are gonna be watching and listening to this and they're gonna you know try and use those keywords but what we'll do is we'll we'll pick a we'll pick a keyword and I'll talk about how to go about writing it or how I'm going to go about writing it. And then we'll, we'll talk about it. I'll post it up later that night so that it doesn't get like stolen or harvested. And then we'll kind of, I'll, we'll move on to the background. Do you guys have any questions so far? Are you, is anyone here confused about what I'm talking about, what I'm doing? Hopefully this is making sense. Cause I think this is a pretty cool idea. We, we talked about first, I gave an overview an update of what we're doing. And then I talked about the affiliate programs and how to find a bunch of affiliate programs. Um, I think this will all be beneficial and helpful. And I showed you like there's money in, in everything. Uh, let's say, let's type in retail. Let's type in how to start a retail business. Because what we're gonna do, good, I'm glad you completely understand. Uh, how to start a retail business. This is a longer keyword, 850 searches. But what we're looking for is we don't care about how to start a sporting goods retail business. What we're looking for is we're looking for, for companies or we're looking for websites that have, that have already gone through and done the research. The reason why is we want to find keywords that are, are, are analogous, square up. Lightning Speed Headquarter, Business News Weekly, RetailDoc.com. I think retaildoc.com could be what we are looking for. Um, let's see, entrepreneur, these are all really competitive. But what we're looking for is we want retaildoc.com because it looks like they are going to be our direct competitor. So a retaildoc.com. Uh, I should probably open these off platform just in case. And I. My, my keyboard doesn't work either. Retaildoc.com. Why doesn't it say that? Retail. Yeah, I'm going to blame the keyboard for my inability to spell basic words. All right, so let's get back over here. Retail sales training for brands of all sizes. Now, do they have an affiliate program? Because this would be a perfect affiliate program to teach people step by step how to get started. Uh, Bob Fibs. Fibs. This could be an opportunity to make money off of a course. It looks like he probably does import person courses. Um, I have a mechanical keyboard. I don't know what this is. This is a keyboard that I've been using and it works intermittently. Uh, let's help. So we're going to go to retaildoc.com. Copy this. We're going to drag that guy back over. Go over to our tool here. And we are going to type in Site Explorer. And when we do that, we're going to paste that in. Retaildoc.com. Search it. All right. So it looks like they get pretty good traffic. We want to know the organic keywords. And then we're going to use these keywords to help us make money. Keywords. Come on. My computer just crawls to a halt when I try and do Ahrefs while streaming live. Uh, merchandising, retail, retail apocalypse, retail business. Let's sort by keyword difficulty of five or less. 
let's see what we have here social styles quiz working retail why retail I hate retail so this person very heavy on the negative keywords when it comes to retail save yourself emails retail competition interesting I'm not seeing as much as I thought here actually let's sort by let's sort by volume maybe volume will give us a better indicator yeah <laughs> yeah I've, I don't know how long I've had this one for a few years and I kind of expect Burger King commercial let's see we'll do position top five because Ahrefs won't let us see past five retail quote what's you can look up and see what sales rx is copy that and we're going to paste this in online retail sales training program we can see if they have an affiliate program i'm sure people are doing reviews on them it's him again hmm. we scroll all the way down we can take a look all right. And what we could do is we could do, that's weird. Why would sales RX, do you play Madden? Yes, I do. I play on, um, I'm going to start playing on my PlayStation this year. I usually play on Xbox. Actually, I haven't really played video games much at all recently, but uh, let's see. Anyway, let's go back over to Ahrefs and we can see retail strategies. That's going to be a good one. That's something people are searching. Retail strategies. We can go back over here and see what comes up when we type in retail strategies. Mm, what are these guys ranked for? We could potentially be an affiliate for retail strategies. Hopefully you guys are seeing how, how crazy this is because we've only been doing this less than an hour and you know we've got some pretty good ideas, but more importantly, we're kind of honing in on what exactly we should be doing. One of the mistakes that I made when I first got started with my blog is I tried to jump in too fast. I was so in a hurry to create content and start making money that I just kind of, I skipped the important steps. The important steps, types of retail strategies. The, 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 the important steps are spending time doing keyword research. Don't just go over to answer the public and use those keywords because that's already been done before. What is retail pricing? We can go through and, and do this again. But uh, next week, let me, let me know, guys, if you want me to walk, walk and talk through how I would create a blog post. Also... I thought I had another question, but let me know next week because what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to put together a list of 30 keywords. I'll probably do 50 keywords, but I'll only write on 30 just because when I start off with a huge list, I wind up like not wanting to write on some words sometimes, but let me know if you guys have questions. I think this is a pretty good start. Um, this live stream accomplished everything and I apologize if you can hear that in the background, but this live stream really accomplished everything that we wanted to. We found more keywords. We found potential affiliate programs. We found a lot of affiliate programs and we saw how we could really make $1,600 or more very, very simply, very easily. As long as we do the work and we put in and we create the blog posts that resonate, I found his affiliate. So you did find an affiliate for Bob Fibs? Fibs? How much does he pay? Because that's interesting. We have a training program and we don't have to use Udemy anymore. So we could potentially start piecing this together while we have a real life business and that real life business would make us some money. That's interesting. You found his affiliate. I best, I could just probably type in retail doc affiliate program um, or Bob Fibs, Fibs affiliate program. Bob Fibs, P H I Fibs affiliate, huh, affiliate marketing. Hit enter there. I found his. I don't know yet. So retail doc training, retail consumer firm. We come back over here. Affiliate program. 
All right, let's see. Benefits, what's the front line of retail? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so, I mean, this is this is pretty cool. You guys have any questions for me? Do you guys want me to talk through how I would write a blog post for this? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the chat real quick. Uh, because I think that's I think that's all I have for you today. I think this was a, a productive live stream. We have gotten our business off the ground ever so slightly. Um, last Thursday, we were like hovering. We're probably at, we were at like one percent because we we went through and we found a domain name and we installed WordPress and and, and generate press. Now we found some ways to make money. We found a lot of ways to make money. Everything from shelving, depending on the, the program, um, to bookkeeping, to Bob Fibs or Thibs or whatever that may be, there's a lot of ways to potentially make money if you zoom out just a little bit. Because the people that we're helping or attempting to help have a whole slew of problems that they may or may not even know they have yet. And that's the way we have to think about it as affiliate marketers. These people have a whole slew of problems that they may not even know that they have. And I think I drew it last week. These, a lot of these people are going to be at the top of the funnel. And so they don't realize, that they, they might be interested in starting a retail business. Also franchise opportunities. Correct. Um, these people are at the very top of the funnel. They know that they want to start a retail business. So they're typing in like how to start a retail business but they don't know everything that's required. They probably don't know that they need to get Square or internet connection, regardless if they're using Wi-Fi, if they're using um, like a ethernet cord, they're gonna need internet connection of some sort. They're gonna need shelving if they're having a physical brick and mortar. Uh, they might need security. Security is a big one. Um, ADT has an affiliate program, so we could, we could talk about how to secure their business, but ADT's affiliate program is weird, so I wouldn't recommend that one. Um, they might need, as I mentioned, shelving. They need all sorts of stuff, and they just don't know it yet, and we can help them solve that problem, all of those problems, and make decent amount of money. Now, the problem that a lot of people have with affiliate marketing is they just think about it straight ahead. I want, people want to, people want to lose weight, so I'm going to give them weight loss pills. But in reality, if people want to lose weight and keep the weight off, it has to be a complete mindset, mind, mindset shift. And you have to do consistent things like, you know, walk on a treadmill or go for a bike ride or, you know, um, change your eating habits. If you can start thinking about it like that. And one of the things that, and this is going to turn into a rant, one of the things that's kind of funny to me is how, Affiliate marketers are marketed to the most, and I don't think that we realize that we're marketed to the most. Um, people are talking about like multi-income funnel, the multiple streams of income. Well, if you're an affiliate marketer, you should be doing that anyway. People are talking about ecosystems, but that's the same thing as a multiple income funnel. And people are talking about how to start, uh, you, don't, you no longer need a website for, um, Affiliate marketing, you just need a sales funnel. A sales funnel is a website. They're the exact same things. I could create a sales funnel in WordPress if I wanted to. Um, rant over, I promise. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If not, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you're notified when I go live. I go live, I think starting next week, I'm going to go live on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I think I think football season starts pretty soon, so I'm going to make sure that I, I make those. But Wednesdays and Saturdays, we're going to continue to build this business. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you're notified. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hmm.